Let's calculate the volume of the right cone here. So we, he we see a, a nice cone here and we're trying to find the volume. We know the volume formula. The volume of a cone, we're given this information at the back of your provincial, is equals to one third the, uh, uh, it's gonna be the area of the circle times the height. This is essentially the uh, one third of the volume of a cylinder. Now we're given this information. We don't know exactly know what our radius is. We need to know our radius to find this uh, area of a circle, which is pi r squared. What is our radius? So here, we're trying to solve for the a value or the radius. As, as well, we need to find the h, which is our b value. So we're trying to solve for a and b, and this will help us find the volume. So in order to find this, we know that this is a nice even cone. So when you drop down the center point down here, we also have 20 degrees here as well as here, since this is symmetrical. We have a right angle triangle, and this is where we simply use basic trig, Sokatoa. We have Sokatoa. When we're looking at 20 degrees, we're interested in A, which is the opposite. We know the hypotenuse, opposite hypotenuse. So we have sine 20 degrees is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, which is A over 25. So we can solve for A. A is equals to, so if I multiply both sides by 25, I get 25 sine 20, which is approximately equals to, we have 25 times sine 20. Enter, make sure you're in degree mode. And we have 8.55. So it's approximately equals to 8.55 centimeters. Now we're also interested in solving for the B value. So we're gonna say here, the B value is the adjacent, and we know the hypotenuse. So the adjacent and the hypotenuse is what we're interested in, and we have the cosine ratio. So the cosine of 20 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent is B over 25, if I multiply both sides by 25, we get B is equals to 25 cosine 20 degrees, which is approximately equals to, let's type in 25 times cosine of 20, enter, is 23.49ish. Okay. So now that we all well, we have the information that we need, we simply finish off with the formula for the volume. Volume of a cone is equal to one third the area of a circle, which is the pi r squared times the height. And we know what the r value is. This is the same thing as one third pi. Our r value is our a, pi a squared, and our h value is our b. So this is equals to one third pi. This is uh, 8.55, 8.55 squared. And our B value is approximately 23.49. This is where we simply punch it into our calculator. We have one third, one third. I'm gonna just type in pi. So I'm going to use the brackets, 8.55 squared bracket, 23.49 bracket, enter. And our final answer is approximately 1,798. And we have this choice here as being the closest answer. And uh, in retrospect, I probably should have kept a few more decimal places so that I would have got the exact answer.